Hello guys, good morning. Today I will show you how you can place a GPS, a TomTom -tom in my case, on your Honda CBR650R. First we need to remove this plastic part over here. You can take it away by just pulling it and then we can put here a ram mount in it from the brand ultimate add-ons we have uh, this part just slide it in and then we can uh, fasten it So that's the first step. And then we can take this part. You can see it, ram. Like this. And then we can place it the way we want. So you can place it in the direction you want. You can place it in that direction or like that. Maybe if you can see uh, the display over here, like that, it's also good in that position, but also that position is possible. So uh, that's the easy part. Now we have to do the electricity. I've bought myself a new TomTom -tom cable because the other one uh, has left it on my old bike, a CBR600. So uh, we will unbox this and uh, Install it on the bike. There's nothing else in the box. So the new wire. It's uh, for this TomTom. -tom, I think it's a Rider 400. Um, and we will install it on the bike. Uh, in my previous bike. I've put the wires straight to the battery and on the positive side I uh, placed the fuse but um, when the bike was uh, outside and it was raining and if you have uh, water between these two pins here is 12 volt on it you shortcut your battery you can see a little bit of white over here that's from the electricity so now um, I'm going to to place the wires um, only when we make contact, when we place it from 0 to 1, that it is possible to charge uh, the TomTom. -tom. And if you connect it directly to the battery um, and you leave the TomTom -tom on it, it can drain your battery. Uh, and if you take away the battery, uh, and if you take away the TomTom, -tom, you can shortcut your TomTom. -tom. Or you have to buy a plastic plate to place over over here that's also possible and then you can uh, connect it directly to the battery but be sure if you do that that you uh, place a fuse on the positive uh, between the positive wire So uh, the wiring from here, and I will take the wiring from the, the backlight from the license plate. So if we want to connect the electricity, we will first see to the wiring from the license plate. So we will turn over here and take the seat away. And then 
I know these wires are going to the license plate lighting. At this moment we have zero volts. If we turn the ignition, you can see we have 13 volts now. So uh, we will take electricity from here. And these wires are also already, um, they have a fuse already, so it's uh, secure to, to use them. And uh, somebody else did the electricity from this because it's not the original license plate holder but a short one. Um, you can see normally the red wire. The red wire is normally uh, the positive side and uh, the black one or the other one is uh, normally the negative side. But here we can see um, that the red one is the negative side, so it's the, the black wire normally. So uh, who has installed this, it wasn't correct. But if we change the two, we have min 13 volts. So we know uh, that the red one is the negative side, is the mass. So now we will remove the front seat by turning loose those two bolts, this one and that one. Take uh, two seats. So the wiring from here to the license plate light is this one. But we will uh, we will connect the black wire straightly to the battery and uh, the red wire we will connect with the red one over here because this one is in fact the black one this is the negative side and this is the positive side so the red one we will connect with the green wire over here we will uh, remove the plastic over here and connect it over there and these parts are already behind the fuse so it's secure to do that so now we have to see that the wiring from here is underneath the fuel tank on the right side or on the left side and it comes to, through here to connect it over here and then we know that every time we make contact the GPS is uh, booting so we will remove this part now And the second bolt and you can, then you can just pull on it to remove it like that you can keep the bolts in the right position and then we can remove this piece of plastic we have to uh, remove first those two black uh, pieces of plastic just pull, just push on it over here push we will take pliers and push so it came out you push this in it works like that and then also on the other side we have to remove this so the two parts are identical and then we can remove this piece of plastic like that And then we can connect 
in this part and do the wiring over here. We will remove this part also. like this so we will connect the wiring over here like that And then uh, make it long enough here that you can uh, place the tom tom in the position you want so that the wiring is not too short but make it long enough and then it's possible to lay the wiring to the to the battery and over here to take the electricity So it's quite easy to place the wiring underneath the fuel tank but like I said be sure that you have enough place over here um, that you can position the tom tom the GPS in the position you want and uh, I'm going to install also a can in filter and when i'm installing the can in filter i have to remove the fuel tank so uh, at this moment i don't uh, place already tie wraps something like that underneath the tank because i have to uh, to remove the tank two times then the can is the can in is already ordered but it isn't delivered yet so uh, we will do that if the can in if if I install the can in so uh, be sure the wiring is long enough here you can do it also if you want underneath this part then it's longer that's maybe better the or original tom tom wire is about uh, two meters long so uh, it's long enough Like this. We will place it like the other wires underneath this part here. Like that. And then we can cut the wiring if you want, if we want. Or we can place it like this wires uh, and keep it original. So uh, we will connect the black wire to the negative side of the battery straightly and then the positive side we will connect with this wire so our, our little doggy is coming to help <laughs> Stella. So we will keep the original length of the wiring and we will uh, make it possible to, to do this a little bit longer so we can uh, connect it in the back and on the battery. So we will remove a piece of uh, black over here with a knife smoothly. Uh, we need to
like that. And then we can uh, place a part over here and connect it to the negative side. And this part we will connect on the wiring to the license plate light. So the negative side, uh, we will connect this part. Do it like this. And I've bought a new plier from Mia. Uh, 91 euros, it was an expensive one. And uh, you can see the red, red. We need to, to push it over here. So now this is connected very well and uh, we can place this straightly to the negative side of the battery and the other one we need to uh, remove this wiring and uh, make connection over here. So I have removed with a knife about one centimeter of the green plastic around the wire and now uh, we can connect the red wire I will remove also one centimeter and a half extra from this insulation and then turn it around this one and then with some uh, Soldur, like we say in Dutch, uh, I will attach it on the wiring and then do some uh, tape on it and uh, the Tom is the Tom Tom installation is ready. So like that. And then we can place this around this wiring. We do not need to uh, use an extra fuse because this green wiring is already uh, behind the fuse. So like that. So now we will uh, do some soldur on the wiring and then some tape on it. Like that. And then it's a very safe connection. And then we will do some tape on it. And, uh, the wiring for the TomTom -tom is ready where we uh, connect this one also to the negative side of the battery. So like that we have the safe connection and now we will uh, connect this to the negative side and our wiring is ready. Like that.
So that is all for the wiring. We will do some tie wraps also on this tire, on this wire to connect it with this wiring. And then when I place the can in, I will do also a tie wrap underneath the fuel tank. And then over here, we can do also a tie wrap on this place over here, like that. So uh, we cleaned the wiring with some extra tie wraps. So it's clean now. We connected the black wire to the negative side of the battery. And the uh, red wire we connected to the backlight of the license plate, what was already behind the fuse, so that's okay. And then I have put a tie wrap over here also. And a tie wrap over here. And then over here also a tie wrap to connect it over here. And then here we have enough place to uh, put the tom tom in the in the right position. If we make contact now, the tom tom has to boot, and then everything is connected right. So the tom tom is booting now. So everything, everything seems to be uh, working perfect. That's how you install the TomTom -tom mount and wiring on your Honda CBR650R. So we will place this panel back on. Then we will do the seat. And turn the two bolts in. And when the two bolts are fastened, you can place this part in again. And then we will take away the key part in. Slide it underneath the tank like that. Just push on it. Like that. And that's how you install a GPS on your Honda CBR650R. Thanks for watching guys.